Right now, jurors are listening to closing arguments in the trial of a former soccer coach who admits he sent inappropriate messages and pictures to a 14-year-old girl. Blake Lewis is charged with three counts of solicitation of a minor and two counts of lewd proposals to a child. Fox 23's Tiffany Allen he's just stepped out of the courtroom. She's live at the Tulsa County Courthouse with what attorneys are telling the jurors. Michelle, the jury heard their jury instructions first from the judge, and just within the last five minutes, the state started their closing arguments. They go first, and they told she told the jurors to remember that witnesses have testified that Blake Lewis told them that he liked young girls because, quote, they're easier to manipulate. She also reminded the jurors to remember that he asked the victim 11 times to get Snapchat, including offering to pay for a phone for her to get Snapchat, and to lie to her mother about it after she had told him that she was not allowed to get Snapchat for per her mother's rules. She also reminded the jurors that the victim promised Lewis that she would not keep secrets from her mother and he continued to ask her to quote be his trust buddy and keep secrets from her mother because he could get into big trouble. Now the judge explained to the jurors that if they decide to find Blake Lewis guilty of the charges against him including three counts of soliciting a minor and two counts of lewd or indecent proposals to a child that he could be facing prison time. It's no less than 30 days. It's a wide range on the first three counts. It's no less than 30 days and no more than 10 years in prison. The last two counts for the lewd or indecent proposal to a child is no less than three years and no more than 20 years. So jurors are really looking at a wide range if they decide to find Blake Lewis guilty. Of course, we talked yesterday off camera with the victim's mother in this case, and she really said Said she felt so strongly about giving this case to Jinx police as soon as the inappropriate messages started because she said not only does she want to protect her own daughter but she also wants to protect other children out there and other girls out there. We will be here for all of the jury deliberations and continue to sit in the courtroom as lawyers make their last minute please and we'll let you know the minute the jury reaches a verdict. Reporting live in downtown Tulsa covering news that matters. I'm Tiffany Alanese, Fox 23 News.